The former first lady has known Prince Harry for over 10 years. Michelle Obama has admitted it wasn't a complete surprise to hear Meghan Markle raise the issues of race. The former first lady, who has known Prince Harry for over 10 years, spoke on the Today Show and shared her thoughts on the Oprah Winfrey interview. Race isn't a new construct for people of color, so it wasn't a complete surprise to hear her feelings and to have them articulated, said Michelle. But the thing I hope for, the thing I think about, is that this is first and foremost a family, and I pray for forgiveness and healing, so they can use this as a teachable moment for us all. Dot Michelle also spoke about the pressures of being a public servant, adding that most people don't understand it, nor should they. Dot the thing I always keep in mind is that it's not about us in public service, it's about the people we serve. I try to push the light back out and focus it on the people we try to serve. Meghan had alleged there were conversations among the royal family about how dark her child's skin would be. Meghan is biracial. Buckingham Palace released a statement last Tuesday after the program aired on CBS in the US on March 7. The statement on behalf of the Queen read, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of rape, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be much-loved family members The Duke and Duchess of Suffolk are now living in Montecito, Santa Barbara with their one-year-old son Archie after stepping back from royal duties in March 2020. Prince William later addressed allegations of racism within the royal family. During a public appearance with wife Kate at a school in East London, William told a reporter, we're very much not a racist family.